Okay, so in the last video I showed you how to create a LandXML file on the data logger from within the survey project itself. So right now the XML file, the LandXML file, is sitting on the data logger. So I've connected my data logger to my computer using a USB cable and I get this um, Windows Mobile connection uh, window appearing. And I don't want to set up my device, I just want to connect my device so that I can browse through it. And essentially here what I'm doing now is I'm taking the mobile computer, the data logger, and I'm browsing onto the contents of it. So I click on here, I go to the memory of it, double click, uh, program files, and we're looking for microsurvey field genius. We then go to the projects and the project that I was using was the one that was called uh, Gary so I just have to see if I can find that here now uh, Gary Contours and you can see here the land XML file that I created on my data logger is viewable here now okay so what we're looking at here in this window is the memory of the data logger itself we're just browsing to the data logger so I take that land XML file and I just drag it and drop it onto my desktop and that's it the survey has now been downloaded onto my desktop so I can uh, close this down and the next thing I need to do now is to go into my AutoCAD Civil 3D so here's my AutoCAD Civil 3D um, at the moment it's just a drawing I haven't given it a name or anything like that and I'm not going to that's not the part that I want to show you here. Uh, so what we need to do is we need to come up to the um, main tabs and you'll see there's a, a tab for insert here and we've got an option for land XML and that's what we're doing. We're going to insert a land XML file into our drawing. So I'm going to do a left click on that and I'm browsing to my desktop. Remember I saved my land XML onto the desktop. It's called Gary2 so I do a left click and then I go open. We can accept all of the defaults for now and we can close down any little error messages we're getting. And there you can see now the survey that was on the data logger was converted into a LAN XML on the data logger, was taken from the data logger onto the desktop and now it's taken from the desktop into the drawing. And from here now I can go and I can make all my uh, arrangements to have contours and things like that to it. So right now I've got my survey brought into Civil 3D. Just to quickly show you, if I want to put on some um, some contours on here, I can go into my surfaces and I can define the surfaces by my uh, point groups. I'm just going to use a point group called Gary Contours, which came in with the drawing. And from this now I can go and put on my contours. So it's already come up here, you can see some contour lines on it here and you can see some contour lines on it up above as well. Now again, the way that it's being displayed can be changed by clicking on the name of the surface, doing a right click, changing the surface properties and changing maybe to a 1 and 5 meter. And if we go apply to that, you will see some more contours appearing on the top of the screen. I can show it as triangles. So we can do some editing now where we might want to take out the triangles on the left hand side uh, in this area in here, take those out of it and there's a few more up here we might want to take out. But we're back now to editing a drawing. Uh, the main point of this video is to show you how easy it is to take a land XML file which came from the data logger and bring it into Civil 3D for further editing.